Welcome to JumpCloud's Directory as a Service. Today we're covering JumpCloud's SAML connectors and how JumpCloud can help consolidate users' access to their accounts in an easy-to-use, secure manner. Once logged into your JumpCloud Administrator account, navigate to the Applications tab. If you've already configured any SSO connectors, you'll see them here. If this is your first time setting up an application, you can add your SSO application by hitting the green plus button and scroll through the list of applications that appear on the right side. JumpCloud has hundreds of pre-configured applications to make configuration quick and easy. To configure an application, click Configure next to your application in the list. Be aware, each application might need specific attributes for both JumpCloud and the application in order to create the chain of trust. There are help links at the bottom of each connector with directions on how to configure the application for both JumpCloud and the web application. If you don't see your application in the list, you can leverage our generic SAML connector by using the search feature to search SAML or by clicking here. Because you're configuring a custom SAML app, JumpCloud enables you to customize the details. When users access the application from their user portal, this is the information they'll see. So we recommend adding a name, description, or logo to help users quickly identify the app. Note, SAML is an all or nothing protocol, meaning that all users who need access to the application must have a valid JumpCloud user account before they can access the application. Once JumpCloud is set up as the IDP for that application, all logins are rerouted to JumpCloud. Once the application is configured, you'll navigate to the Groups tab and select or create a user group that you'd like to grant access to the application you've just configured. Once this is complete, all users within that user group will see the SSO application appear within their user portal. Taking a look through a JumpCloud user's eyes, we'll use our example user, Bob Fay. Bob's a part of the Sales user group, which has access to Salesforce. If we log into Bob's JumpCloud user portal, we'll see Salesforce as one of his available applications because he belongs to the sales user group. By clicking on the Salesforce icon, he'll be automatically logged in and directed to the landing page of that web application. Now the opposite is also true. If Bob were to directly navigate to Salesforce and type in his email address and credentials, Salesforce would reroute him to JumpCloud asking him to verify his JumpCloud credentials. Once verified, it'll reroute him automatically back to Salesforce landing page for his account. That's it. Check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles for more information about SAML and SSO applications you can integrate with your JumpCloud organization.